Um, how you could describe React Native Windows development workflow to somebody uh, who's been doing Electron, for example? I guess while they, they might be the same on a UI level in terms of building JavaScript, uh, building interface with JavaScript, uh, there might be things that are different, like uh, you know maybe setting up some native projects or what. Just like what are the differences if I'm let's say an Electron developer and I, I would be kind of looking into React Native Windows, uh, what I'm signing up for? Well, uh, we have to remember that the the idea behind React Native Windows uh, is is to make it perhaps uh, like you said. Uh, almost the same as React Native when it comes to tools, environment, feel, and, and, and language. Uh, so we have a Node.js and an NPM uh, and, and the JavaScript or, or TypeScript, uh, some unit test frameworks, um, and generally that's it. Uh, so, so they are uh, quite similar to, to each other. But uh, while working uh, with, with React Native Windows, your main focus should be on the JavaScript side, not native. Uh, this is what this is what React Native is for to to handle the native side for you, uh, but it gives you the possibility to do it on your own. Uh, sometimes you have to do it uh, if you want to do something unusual or you would like to handle some some native functionality of your app, uh, and this is the main difference uh, and the main uh, concern that should be described to the to the electron uh, developer the native side uh, because when working with react native i launch visual code uh, like the electron developer does and this is where i can develop react native components and debug the javascript code i can import other modules just like in the electron and i can use them uh, but comparing to Electron, using, using React Native Windows, uh, I can also open Visual Studio and check the code uh, and check the native implementation of my app and debug it as well. Mm, I can easily create my own uh, modules or, or my own UI components with which I can export to JavaScript. I can even modify the, the original way my app is rendered on the native side and, of course, if I know how to do it. Uh, so the main difference is that uh, that there is a native side. Mm. So so when, when using React Native, uh, it, it is very useful to, but not necessary. It's very useful to uh, develop some some native code. Yeah, and um, so it looks like for somebody who's been doing Electron, uh, it, it kind of feels like with Electron you definitely need less experience or awareness of the underlying ecosystem. It's it's more like you're just writing JavaScript and you don't have to mess around with Visual Studio or kind of C++ code unless absolutely necessary, I guess. And uh, that's definitely the downside of React Native uh, in general, at least at a first touch. Um, but I feel like for the developer coming from traditional Windows development like you, uh, this should feel like home. Uh, well. It should, uh, that. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, the, the thing is that, um, well, uh, the, my, my answer would be that not really, because uh, when you are, uh, when, when, when I first started with the React Native, I was like, okay, then there is a native site, I can do almost anything with it, so, so I will still develop some React Native app, and, but I will do it my way, so, so I will use the, the native for it. But this is, uh, so to say, very bad idea and can lead you almost to the disaster because uh, React Native Windows is 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 like React Native. JavaScript is what you should focus on, and the thing is that uh, the more or native you are writing uh, within your React Native Windows application, the less cross-platform it becomes. So you you should uh, so to say reduce the amount of the native approach to a minimum if you are writing the React Native uh, Windows application. Uh, your, your skills of, of, of native development can help you with, with, the, with developing some, some nice fancy stuff within your React Native Windows app, but it is not something that should give you, a, let's say, comfort zone, so to say. Yeah. Thank you for that explanation. And uh, while we are at it, um, you know, we kind of reached uh, to a conclusion that Electron developers, so JavaScript developers, will face some 
confusion at first when they have to deal with native stuff and native developers on the other hand will also need to kind of adjust uh, their thinking and kind of the way they are reasoning about the development as 